I honestly don't know where to start with this match reaction, but Man United have just dropped two points against Southampton. For the second game in succession, we dropped points against relegation candidates. And for me, arguably, that was an all-time low for Jose Mourinho. Up there with Sevilla in the Champions League. You knew that Man United were going to set up defensive today because Man United and Jose Mourinho are under pressure. And when people are under pressure... They revert to character. Mourinho is a naturally pragmatic manager. So when you saw the starting eleven, you weren't surprised, but it still pissed you off. We had McTominay in there. We had Matic in there. We had Popper in there. We had Herrera in there. We had Fellaini in there. We have five central midfielders and still no Fred in that team. But you're thinking, right, OK, so we're playing defensive. At least we'll try. At least we'll keep a clean sheet against a team which has only scored 10 goals all season. And then we can go, and we've got Lukaku, we've got Rashford, we've got the attackers to score. Instead, we go 2-0 down. I mean, that defending for that first goal from Southampton, a great finish from Armstrong, don't take that away from him. But the defending was abysmal. He just, and I think it was Nathan Redmond, just walked through our defence. And then the second goal, you can't do anything about the second goal. But United are 2-0 down against South fucking Hampton, who has scored 10 goals all season prior to this game. And yes, we came back because Marcus Rashford inspired it. Marcus Rashford had a fantastic game. And then Marcus Rashford got taken off when Man United needed to score a goal. We'll get into that a little bit later on. But I honestly am just so confused by what I've just seen from Manchester United there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for me, as I said, I think that might be an all-time low for Mourinho. Because it was a match against Southampton. A match after the Crystal Palace game, you think, well, you're not thinking, United need to bounce back. We just went 2 0 down. We completely folded. And I can't even enjoy the fact that Man United came from 2 0 down because I know that next week, I know that this won't change now. And so many of you have, have criticised me for my defence of Jose Mourinho, but you know, he's. He's a manager of my, of my club and I don't want to throw him under the bus. But I can't really defend anything that I saw there today. From the starting eleven to the decisions to take Rashford off. Madness. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Because I can't say anything positive. I really, really can't. <laughs> Honestly, I'm genuinely speechless from that game. Man United dropping points for the second game in succession... And it was just fucking horrible to watch. And the bad thing is, as you know, that on Arsenal on Wednesday, the same thing's going to happen. Man United obviously came from 2-0 down there to go against, Chris, against Southampton today. And we could have made more of it in that second half. I think we had one shot on target in that second half. Mourinho had the option there to throw the kitchen sink, throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at Southampton in that second half. Instead, he made like-for-like -like substitutions and he took Rashford off. Which made no fucking sense whatsoever. It really, really didn't. And then he took Lukaku off. Lukaku had a... He scored, but... My God, you saw the worst part of Lukaku today. But I'm not pointing the finger at any individuals. Although I really should. Because these players... I mean, m apart from Marcus Rashford in that game, and I think Herrera, he played well. It, it's not hard to see why United fans get along with Ander Herrera. Because there aren't many players in this squad that you genuinely feel are playing for anything other than a wage packet at the end of the week. Rashford's not like that. You saw that. It fucking means a lot to him to play for United. And it, it meant a lot to see how good he played today after the criticism that was thrown at him from the Young Boys game. But I don't know where to turn after this game. We've had the opportunity to use... This December period as a time where Man United can collect points, can push the first half of this season into the memories and look forward to a 2019 with a bit more positivity. Instead, we've drawn against Crystal Palace. We've had a 91st minute winner against Young Boys when it was a drab, dull game. And a game again today where we dropped two more points against fucking can relegation candidates. Southampton are going down if they play like that all year, as far as I'm concerned. It's a confusing match reaction, this one. It really, really is because I don't know where United go from here. I really, really don't. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But two more points dropped. And as I said, I think that's arguably an all-time low for Jose Mourinho as Man United manager. 
I'm normally, I've normally got quite a lot to say, but after that match, I really, really don't.